salamat po sa mga tumatangkili kong clients at nag-refer po sa akin. At sa mga natulungan ng aking video, kaya sila ay hindi nahirapang makakuha ng kanilang pangarap na subscribe. On this video, i-discuss natin ang mga kailangan na requirements sa pagbili ng sasakyan dito sa Toyota Manila Bay this year 2021. First, pag-usapan natin ang tatlong klase ng transaksyon sa pagbili ng bagong sasakyan dito sa Toyota Manila Bay. Unahin natin ang pinakasimple, cash transaction. Kailangan lang po dito, sa cash transaction po ay isang valid ID and the full payment. Then after that, as we could proceed para schedule ang inyong release. Next is the bank purchase order or we call it PO. Ito yung mga clients who directly loans to their trusted banks. Dito na sila nagsasubmit ng mga kinakailangan requirements and once they get approved sa banko nila, and doon na rin sila magsasign ng mga financing documents, then the bank will send us the purchase order and then proceed na sa schedule of their unit release. And last but not the least, yung in-house financing transactions natin. Ito yung mga clients na sa dealer na nag apply ng loan. And as your marketing professional, I will be the one to submit their application and gather necessary requirements para ma-approve si client dito sa aming dealer. So, si client will just wait for the necessary calls and credit investigation from the banks and wait if their car loan would be approved. Once they got a call from their marketing professional, which is ako po yun, si Shelly, then they will pay the necessary down payment, sign next necessary documents, and then they can schedule the release of their unit. Ganun lang po kadali. Paano ba ma-approve sa in-house financing? Ano-ano ang mga kailangan kong i-prepare na requirements para mababilis na mapa-approve ang car loan application? There are three types of car loan applicants. The employed, the OFW or the Overseas Filipino Workers, and the self-employed. So let's begin with the employed clients. Ano-ano pa ang mga kinakailangan na requirements kapag locally employed ka? So first, two valid government-issued ID. Latest certificate of employment with compensation. Very important na may compensation. Pay slip. Much better na payroll siya. It's being deposited to your ATM. So, we will be needing bank statement for supporting documents. Proof of billing, electric bills, or water bills. This serves as proof of residency. Doon ka nakatira. Before, if single, okay lang if single signatory. But this year, bank preferred na may homemaker si principal. They would act as guarantor or safekeeper and can help bump up your bank approval rating also. They also submit same requirements, katulad ng sa principal, if they are employed. Who are qualified to be your co-maker? If married, dapat po yung inyong wife or husband. If single naman, dapat first degree family. Your parents, if they are still qualified, meaning malayo pa sa senior years nila. Or any siblings na employed also. What if hindi kayo kasal? Meaning, if may kalibin ka, so you must declare your co-maker as common law. This is accepted accepted ng mga banks, lalo na if you have already have kids with your common law and you live within the same residence. Or pwede din yung anak ninyo na nagtatrabaho na or your parents for an additional co-maker if needed. Ano yung mga hindi acceptable na co-maker, Shelly? Okay, first girlfriend, kaibigan, hindi po yan pinapayagan ng banks. Only first degree family members. Next, the OFW. Ano-ano naman ang mga kailangan ng requirements if OFW ka or working abroad? Una, importante ang ma-immediate family si OFW client. For example, married siya. Yung kanyang wife, siya ang magiging principal borrower, then si OFW will act as co-maker. Kaya po ganun, kailangan may present na signatory si borrower. If single si OFW client, ang pwede lang pong gawin na principal borrower niya is either yung kanyang parents or siblings na pinapadalahan ng remittances. Ano naman ang mga necessary requirements na kailangan i-provide ng OFW? First, two valid government-issued ID. Latest contract of employment or certificate of employment with compensation. Latest payslip. 
remittance receipt, or proof of remittance document. Much preferred ng mga bank ngayon na yung remittances is being deposited to their bank deposits. This is very important. It will show to whom the remittance are being deposited. Last is the self-employed. Ano-ano bang mga kinakailangan na requirements kapag self-employed ka naman? First, two valid government-issued ID. Business permits, for example, DPI, Mayor's Permit, Barangay Permit, or any business permits. Latest ITR 1701 with AFS. This is important supporting documents that shows that your business is already generating profit and income. Proof of billing. Bank statements. This serves as proof that you have enough funds that the business has already cash flow to pay your car loan. How to know if you are qualified to be approved for a car loan? Paano ba sinusukat ipapaab ipaabot ang inyong income sa pagkuha ng gusto ninyong sasakyan? For example, balak mong kumuha ng Innova. Yan, walang safety deposit tax yan. Gawang Pinoy yan. So, tangkilikin po natin ang gawang Pinoy. Example, ang monthly nyo is 24,000. Kailangan po natin times 3. Dapat, ang combined monthly income ng borrower is nasa 72,000 or higher upang ma-approve po kayo sa unit na Innova dito sa Toyota Manila Bay. Position. Malaking bagay yung position. If you are employed, Kahit dalasan dyan na susukat kung akma ba yung income mo sa position mo. If you are planning to buy an Innova and you must have a combined monthly income na 72,000, dapat nasa managerial position ang isang borrower para ma-justify kung paano nakakaabot sa halagang 72,000 yung kinikita mo. Then, the tenure. Gaano ka na katagal sa employer mo? Okay? Or business. Dapat nasa at least 3 years minimum ka. Or if you, if you have business, you have like 4 or 5 years old na na business para ma-approve ka. Shelly, paano if wala ka pang 3 years? Mag-1 year ka pa lang. So, ganito yon. If your co-maker is 3 years or more than, more than 3 years na employed sa company nila, so the bank will still consider na pasada yung account niyo once na isa sa inyo is more than 3 years na sa company. Things to keep in mind always when applying here in Toyota Manila Bay. Make sure you have enough budget. Budget is very important. Complete requirements. Ito yung proof na ang inyong income. Tenure. 3 years kapag employed, 5 years naman if self-employed. And last, clients don't have any past delinquent bank loans or you have a clean or clear bank history, yun ang pinaka-importante. And pag lahat nito ay meron ka, madali na lang mag-apply ng kotse and ma-approve dito sa Toyota Manila Bay. This is Shelly Aguirre Kyoyo. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share my channel. Thank you!